Hello, my name is Maria de Souza. I'm the founder of Posture Queen, and this is a place for you to learn all things to do with good posture and a place for you to heal your body through Feldman Kreis and yoga. Today, I'm bringing to you a Feldman Kreis lesson that will help you to realign the skeleton, your body. So, we start standing, and in standing, just bring your, your awareness to your feet. It's best that you are on a kind of hard surface as opposed to on cushioning because you get more feedback through the feet when um, the surface is harder. Bring your feet hip distance apart, more or less wherever it is comfortable for you. And just close your eyes and just sense your feet. And notice the weight of your body on your feet. Notice if you have more weight in one foot than the other. Notice where the weight in the foot is. Is it more towards the front or more towards the back or the sides? Just have a good feel for the weight of your body on your feet. And then have a sense for your uprightness and your head sitting on top of your spine and your shoulders in your torso and just notice how everything feels for you today. Just a general feeling of yourself. Notice how your head feels sitting on top of your spine. Is it heavy? Are you holding it? How do the shoulders feel? And don't try to change anything, just see what's there at this precise moment. And keep a few mental notes of what you found. You can spend a little bit more time here if you need, just to sense yourself standing. And then we're going to lie on the floor and do the lesson on the floor. So come onto your mat or your carpet and lie down. Extend your legs and just be here for a moment. Notice how does it feel to lie on the floor today. Notice if there, is, there are any parts of yourself that are calling for your attention. In other words, any parts of yourself that don't feel so comfortable. Maybe in your lower back, and maybe in your shoulders, your head. Just notice what doesn't feel so comfortable. Breathing in and out. And then start noticing your, the contact of yourself on the floor, your heels, the calves, the thighs, those spaces that don't touch the floor, maybe behind your knees, maybe some parts of your thighs. Notice your buttocks in contact with the floor and it's very likely that one side feels different to the other side. Just notice those differences. And then your back, the shoulder blades, the right and the left. It's likely again that one shoulder blade feels different to the other. Notice that space perhaps in your lower back that doesn't touch the floor. Notice if you feel a difference between the right side of your back and the left. Maybe one side is more in contact with the floor than the other. And then notice your head and turn your head ever so slightly, an inch or so, a couple of times to the right, very slowly. The slower you go, the more you can understand and feel and sense yourself. And just notice the quality of that moment. So it's not about how far you can turn the head. But you just explore in the movement and how does it movement feels for you in your neck. 
And can you feel more than the neck? Can you feel any movement or any sensations along your spine? How are those muscles around the neck? Do they, does this movement trigger some sensation? And then you do, you turn to the other side. And the same thing, just explore and noticing what's happening as you turn the head slowly and gently. Notice how does it feel overall in yourself. And now see if you can lift one side. It's, diff it's not an easy movement with the legs long, just do what you can. See if you can lift one side of the pelvis just an inch or so from the floor. Your heels will help you with this movement. And then the other side of the pelvis. And just notice that movement in the pelvis. Notice the weight of the pelvis. Notice the differences between lifting one side and lifting the other side. Is there a difference? After you explored that, let go. And then again, um, in the same way, lift one shoulder away from the floor. Keep the arm, the hand on the floor. Lift the shoulder a couple of times. Just notice the weight of that shoulder. And then you lift the other shoulder. Just an inch or so, again, is about finding the quality of that movement. How heavy your shoulder feel. Is one side different to the other? And then keep a mental memory of all these things that you found out during these explorations. And again, you can spend a little bit more time here if you wish. Now, bend the knee, the right knee to the side, slide the heel towards your buttocks and bring the knee up and the foot on the floor and adjust the foot so that you feel that your leg is nicely supported here you can bring the foot a little bit more to the side and start pressing that foot on the floor and see if you can feel the whole of the foot the whole of the sole in contact with the floor as you press the foot on the floor and then lift bring your left arm high but find a place for your arm to relax so the so the arm is not in the air the arm is nicely resting on the floor so it might be a little bit more closer to your body but if you can bring it as close to your ear as you can but make sure your arm is relaxed make sure that that um, shoulder is comfortable that you're not holding the shoulder, you're not holding the wrist, you're not holding anything. That the arm is nicely relaxed on the floor. As close as possible to your ear, but do what you can. If it has to be away from the ear, then that's what it is. Okay. And now you're going to start pressing your right foot on the floor. And notice what happens as you press the right foot on the floor. Your right side of your buttocks, the right side of your pelvis will lift away from the floor. And just explore that movement, lifting the right side of your pelvis, your buttocks away from the floor, and you bring it down. So every time you press the pelvis, the right side of your pelvis lifts away from the floor. But you want to keep the knee in the middle so the knee doesn't swing at all during this exercise okay so the knee stays in the middle the knee moves away from the pelvis it goes away from the pelvis to allow the movement in the pelvis okay but it doesn't swing okay it stays right in the middle and moves away as you press and so as you start pressing the foot on the floor, you're going to start rolling your head so that you look towards the hand, your hand is up and you lengthen 
your arm as if you want to grab something that is at the end of your hand okay and then you come back and you're gonna do that a few times you press the foot the pelvis lift and then you start um, you, you feel the movement traveling through your spine and as if you're going to roll to your left hand side but you're not rolling you're rolling a little bit but you're not going to roll all the way okay so you press but allow the movement to travel through the spine so it's not looking and pressing it's one movement after the other like a cascade movement feel the movement traveling first the foot presses then the pelvis starts lifting then your head wants to go somewhere towards your left hand side that hand, that arm is resting on the floor. I'm just uh, um, talking with my hands as well, but that hand, that arm is rests on the floor. And you're going to look towards your hand and then you're going to extend, lengthen that arm behind you. And you're going to come back. Okay, and do that several times, a few times, enjoying that lengthening, lengthen, um, through um, your body, okay? So you're doing this diagonal movement from the right foot through to your left hand. And see, every time you press the foot, the, the pelvis lifts a little bit higher and the arm extends a little bit more, lengthens a little, a little bit more. Remember to look towards your hand, but remember that the movement starts um, in the feet, in the foot, okay? So you press the foot, then the pelvis lifts, and then the head wants to turn to the left, and then you extend that, uh, lengthen that arm away. Breathing in and out. See if you can sense your ribs extend and fanning out on your left hand side. Notice what's happening around your lower back on the right hand side. Keeping the knee in the middle, the knee doesn't swing. And you do that for several times, inhaling, exhaling. So you spend a couple of minutes, a good couple of minutes here, okay, in the same movement. Okay, and then you let go, bring the arm down, bring the knee towards the floor, slide your heel. Ah, and just notice the differences between one side of yourself and the other. Notice if you feel that one leg is longer than the other. Notice your shoulder blades in contact with the floor. And then bend the left knee. Bring the foot on the floor. Bring the right arm up as close to your ear as possible. Remember that the arm is relaxed, the shoulder is um, comfortable, okay? The elbow, elbow can be a little bit bent. And again, you're going to do the same movement. Press the left foot and then feel the movement traveling. You're going to look towards your hand and extend, lengthen the arm. And then you're going to come back and just do that a few times. And spend a good two minutes here. Okay, lifting and lengthening. The 
arm away. Breathing in and out. Just notice if things feel different on this side. It's very likely that they will. Remember that the movement starts in the foot and then travels through your spine to your head and then your arm. Okay, and then you reverse everything. Again, notice. Your ribs. The muscles around the lower back. On your left side. Lengthening the arm as if you wanted to grab something that is at the end of your arm. Making it um, smooth and graceful so we don't want any sharp movements. And, you f and if you feel that the movement is sharp, then see if you can make it less sharp. Maybe you go slower. Maybe you take more time in doing the movement. So find ways to make the movement graceful, smooth. Breathing in and out. So you want to spend a good cup of minutes in each side. Okay, and then let go. Bring the arm down, the knee towards the floor and slide the heel away. And just take a moment here, just to feel yourselves, yourself. In contact with the floor, the shoulders, the buttocks, the legs. Okay, then you're going to bend the right knee once again. And this time you're going to um, bring your awareness to your right arm. So right knee, right arm, palm of the arm is facing up. And bring the arm as close to the side of yourself as, as comfortable possible. So the arm is not out there. It's closer to, to, your, to, your, to yourself, okay? And here you're going to do the same. You're going to press the foot on the floor. You're going to lift the pelvis away from the floor, but this time you're going to look towards your right hand and slide your hand towards your heel as if you want to grab your, your heel. You're not going to grab it, but as if you want to grab. And if your hand is close to your heel, just pass, you can just pass the heel and just extend that arm. So there is a gentle side bend in here. Okay. So you press the foot, the pelvis lifts, and then you look towards your right heel or the right hand, and you extend that hand towards the heel or past the heel. Okay, wherever you, your hand is. And again, you're going to do that a few times, inhaling, exhaling, always aiming for less effort, aiming for graceful movements. Again, the knee is right in the middle and the knee moves away from the pelvis but doesn't swing. Breathing in and out, and again you want to spend a good two minutes here, side bending. And just notice how it feels in your ribs, on your right hand side, and the left. 
so the right hand side is closing and your left side is opening see how much movement you can feel in your ribs can you feel your ribs and remember that if you haven't seen my videos about the ribs remember that have a look at it to remind you that you don't have a rib cage you have a rib baskets because the ribs they give they are designed to move and give it's not a cage made of iron it is a kind of a basket willow because they move and if they don't move then any movement we do any movement we do will be restricted will be uh, not so um, easy to move to move any movement we do with the torso if the ribs aren't moving then nothing can be um, fluid Any movement you will do, you'll feel restriction, restriction in the in the ribs area. So this is also a good lesson, a good exercise to get the ribs mobile and moving. Okay, and then let go. Center yourself. Bring the knee towards the floor and lengthen the leg and just stay a moment here just to notice yourself, notice the ribs, notice your shoulders, your arms, your legs. Breathe in and out. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same on the other side. So you're going to bring the palm of your left arm, left hand up and bring the arm closer to your body as close as it is comfortable for you and then you're going to do the same thing as you did on the other side so you're going to press the left foot on the floor and then you're going to turn the head look towards your heel towards your hand and you're going to lengthen that hand towards the heel or past the heel so it's this kind of a side bending, okay? And then you bring everything back to the center. And you're gonna do that several times. Again, you're gonna spend a good two minutes here. Breathe in and out. And notice if you want to breathe in as you bend, side bend, or do you prefer to breathe out, to breathe out or whatever you do make sure you're not holding the breath that you carry on breathing so you can breathe in as you side bend or you can breathe out wherever it's best for you just explore both ways and see what you prefer to do it doesn't matter as long as you breathe Extend that arm towards your heel as if you want to grab your heel and if your hand is closer to your heel then pass the, the heel. Okay, and keep the knee in the middle, the knee moves away from the pelvis but it doesn't swing from left to right and right to left, okay? and see how things feel on this side it's very likely that this side feels different don't forget to look to roll ahead and look towards your head your hand and then the heel you don't need to see the hand or the heel if you can't it's just the direction of the head okay and again just notice you if you can feel your ribs closing on that side you're bending and opening on the other side and you spend a good two minutes here or if it too, if two minutes is too much for you then you just do what you can okay 
The important thing is that you breathe in and that you find ways to make it graceful, to make it um, less um, with less effort. Of course, there is a, a level of effort to do this, but find ways to do it with less effort. Remember that you're lifting the pelvis, the movement starts on the foot, the foot presses, the pelvis lifts and then you look towards your hand and you lengthen your hand towards your foot. Pass the foot or um, reach towards your heel. Wherever your hand is, wherever your foot is. Maybe your hand is closer to your foot or maybe it isn't, doesn't matter. It's just a direction. Breathe in and out. Don't push, don't force, don't go through pain. If, some are, if you find pain, then you want, what you need to do is to go slower, more gently, not to bend so much, or always finding ways to um, prevent pain. Every time you lift the <clears throat> pelvis, see if you can lift a little bit higher without too much of an effort. Notice if it gets easier to lift that side of the pelvis every time you lift. Okay, and then let go, bring the knee towards the floor, extend, slide the heel away and just notice yourself here. Okay, then take a rest here, just notice yourself in contact with the floor, notice your buttocks, your shoulder blades, the legs. <clears throat> so this is part one of this lesson. Here you can, now what you can do is to repeat everything all over again, okay? And then at the end, you're going to turn your head in the same way, you're going, through, going to go through the same explorations you did at the very beginning. So you're going to turn your head a few times, one side and the other, and then notice how does it compare to the very beginning, and then you're going to lift the shoulders just like it is before, and notice if they feel any different, and then you're going to lift the pelvis one side and then the other, and just noticing what feels different from the very beginning. Okay, but do these movements once again all over. And because now you know what you're doing, because you've done it first already once, um, pay more attention to the movements, pay more, more attention to um, what's happening as you move. Okay, and um, next week I'll bring you part two of this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to know about um, how to prevent a hunched back, how to lean over and go about life um, with more elegance and to protect the spine and to prevent that hunch in the back have a look at my course, I'll put the link below, where I'll teach you all about how to prevent that roundness in the spine. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back next week with part two of this lesson. And I'll see you then. Bye bye now.